Hi, it's Dan Kaplan reporting from Washington, D.C. at the National Home and Community-Based Services Conference for 2016, asking participants what's the next frontier in home and community-based services. Hi, I'm Alicia Steinberg. I'm a research associate at IMPACT International. And at the NASUED HCBS conference this week, we're hearing a lot about the importance of um, tapping directly into consumer input, consumers and their families, about what the priorities are and how, how to measure quality in long-term services and supports. Um, and just as in Medicaid managed care for family and children populations, um, we've had measures that allow us to compare performance across states. Now on the frontier for uh, home and community-based services, we're getting to the point where we'll have a set of measures where we'll be able to compare performance across states in a way that directly taps into what's important for consumers and their families. Hi, my name is Jeff Case from Therapy Services. As far as what's next for us, we see that as people continue to move more and more into the community, what's exciting for us is the ability for everybody to share into that information. And so that continuum of care that everybody is seeking to be able to participate in and be knowledgeable about, we're able to capture that and share that so all of these eyes are able to see that information and everybody is assisting and participating in that process of helping everybody meet their full potential. Hey, my name is Dee O'Connor and I'm with Gen Associates, a data analytics company in Massachusetts. And one of the things that we think is an up and coming idea for home and community based services is to look at a broad concept that unifies our quality metrics that we're calling healthy days at home. And the idea is that we look at consumers' uh, experience both in avoiding institutionalization but also in staying healthy while they're in the community. So we've got an idea there that we'd love to work with some states on. Hi, Victor Lira, VP with uh, Premier Healthcare Services. And I think the next frontier is going to be the continued expansion of consumer-directed services to the point where everybody has a choice throughout the nation for all of their aged and disabled services. Yeah. I'm Ian Stockwell. I'm the Director of Long-Term Care at the Hilltop Institute. And I think the next big thing in home and community-based services is building predictive modeling structures and different types of algorithms on the vast amounts of data we have on our population to help them get the services they need as best as we can. My name is Gary Jesse. I'm the Deputy Executive Commissioner for at the Health and Human Services Commission in Texas. I think the next frontier for us is fully integrating IDD services into our managed care strategies and solving our housing issue. Hi, my name is Aaron Tripp. I'm from Leading Age. And my idea for the next frontier for HCBS uh, would be two things. One, to have financing reform meaning we have a system that allows for all people, not just the very wealthy or just the very poor, but everyone to have a way to have uh, a well-financed um, HCBS system, and also delivery system reform. So that HCBS system really has all the services and settings that anybody would want as they either grow older or grow with different limitations, but that we have settings and services that meet everyone's needs. Uh, hi, Camille Dobson, Deputy Executive Director at NASAWID, and I think the next frontier for HCBS is embedding person-centered planning um, in the system in a real way. Um, I think people think they do person-centered planning, but to really move the system forward and really help people make sure they leave meaningful, um, engaged lives, um, it's got to really be part of every interaction that the system has with people. Hi, I'm Leanne Clark Shirley, Senior Research Associate and Aging and Disability Practice Area Lead at IMPACT International. Here at the HCBS conference, we have been hearing about the importance of collecting consumer and family-centered data. As we think about those, how to develop those measures, we also need to think about how to collect that information. IMPACT is working with the Mississippi Division of Medicaid right now to implement the National Core Indicator Surveys for IDDD and Aging and Disability Waivers. This information will help Mississippi have a grounded understanding of experiences and satisfaction with the services that are being received, and we'll use that data to help develop some pinpoints to improve quality across the waiver program.